Hi, this is Alex Tardy from the National Weather Service in San Diego. This weather briefing will take a look at the excessive hot temperatures that are expected for the end of this month into the early part of July. This is especially going to impact the inland valleys, mountains, and the deserts. This weather briefing is about four minutes long. Here are the highlights we're going to take a look at. Prolonged period of very hot weather for inland valleys especially and the deserts. Broken record high temperatures are possible and in some areas they are likely. The hot weather will be occurring between June 27th all the way through July 4th. This is a monsoon weather pattern so isolated thunderstorms are expected to develop in parts of southeastern California coming out of Arizona. We'll also have increasing areas of coastal dense fog. Basically that is from the shallow marine layer. The low clouds and marine layer will be squashed and contained along the immediate coast. This is the area that an excessive heat watch has been issued. This is in effect for Friday all the way through the weekend. This is for excessive hot temperatures across the inland valleys and the deserts as well as the mountains as shown here on this image. This excludes the immediate coast even though temperatures will be getting near 100 degrees along the I-15 quarter east of I-5. Here's a look at the temperature forecasts that we are expected. This is an example of a forecast for Saturday Temperatures will be very similar on Friday, on Sunday, and even into Monday. Shown here, some temperatures in the deserts, San Diego deserts and the Coachella Valley, exceeding 115 and approaching around 120. Areas in the mountains getting up to around 90, all the way up to 6,000 feet. The Inland Empire, most areas will be over the century mark and the hotter locations such as Lake Elsinore approaching 109 degrees. For areas further south, you can see in San Diego, a lot of the region will be in the upper 80s and some locations reaching into the 90s. What's causing this weather? Strong upper level high pressure will be over the region starting on Thursday and maximizing itself for our region Friday and Saturday. This upper level high pressure will be covering almost all of the western United States as shown here with very hot temperatures underneath it. The only relief is the immediate coast thanks to the marine layer. What will it look like for July 3rd through 4th? The high pressure will only weaken slightly. Hot temperatures will remain in fact, prolonged period of very hot temperatures over inland areas and the deserts. The marine layer will remain squashed. The line here in blue, that's where any moisture that might come around the high pressure will track clockwise around the high pressure across northern Mexico and Baja and possibly back into California. Here are some links. Be sure to check out these links to look at the latest hazards and the latest temperature forecasts on the links up top. And also check out all the weather stations, thousands of them across Southern California, that will be plotted on that map, a Google map, where you can see the high and low temperatures as well as the current conditions. Thanks for joining this weather briefing. We hope you found it useful.